Hey everybody, Nick here from Akai Professional. Today I'm going to show you how you can format storage devices with your MPC Live. For this video I will be using a USB flash drive, but the process will be the same whether you're using an SD card, an external hard drive, or a drive you've installed into your MPC Live. Before you begin, if you have not already done so, run the MPC software installer and install the MPC Live's driver for your operating system. This way it can send and receive data from your computer. Check the link in the description for more information regarding this process. To format a drive on a Windows operating system, we'll first need to put the MPC Live into controller mode. To do this, start an empty project, press Menu on your MPC Live, and press the controller mode icon. The controller mode icon is represented by a computer chip with the MPC logo and can be found at the upper right corner of the MPC Live's display. When the MPC Live is in controller mode, it can act as a reader for storage devices. First, open a file explorer window and locate the drive in the list of devices. Right click the drive and select format. The MPC Live supports XFAT, FAT32, NTFS, EXT4, and HFS Plus file systems. For the purposes of this video, I will be using the XFAT format, but any of the previously mentioned file systems will also work. Select the format and click start. Your computer will advise you that formatting will erase all content on the drive, so make sure to move any important content off the drive before formatting. Click OK and your computer will format the drive. When formatting has completed, select OK and close the formatting window. It is a good practice to eject a storage device before disconnecting it. So open a file explorer window, right click the drive, and select eject. You can now safely remove the drive from the MPC Live. Your drive is now ready to transfer files from your MPC Live and to your computer. Check the link in the description for more information regarding transferring files. I hope this video has helped. Please leave all comments and questions in the section below and check the video description for more popular guides and tutorials. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.